worried, right? It's, I'm a little emotional, right? It's like, it's worked so hard on this. Um, and so it's, it's amazing. That's Burke Hales, a professor at Oregon State University and chief scientist for PacWave, the world's newest testing site for wave energy devices. The PacWave team has been trying to get their project up and running for the past 12 years with a singular goal in mind to harness the power of ocean waves and turn it into electricity. Last week, they just hit a major milestone in that quest. Wednesday night, they put the last cable on the sea floor where the test site sits out of the water west of Newport. The testing site is a two square mile patch of ocean that has four berths, each wired to infrastructure on land. It costs roughly 100 million to develop and was a joint effort between the OSU and the US Department of Energy. Over the span of weeks, crews worked on specialized ships, painstakingly laid some 70 miles of cable weighing north of a million pounds in precise locations. Then a different ship toting a remote operated vehicle had to come behind them to bury the cable. It's only a fraction of the work that's gone into this, so it's easy to see exactly why they're so glad to see some light at the end of the tunnel here. And it has taken, it's taken so long. There have been so many uh, starts and stops, so many challenges, uh, you know, cost implications, working with the, the contracting to get this all in place. It's, it's been a huge, huge effort to get this going. And so, yeah, we're, we're very, very uh, relieved. Now, PacWave won't be testing any of its own energy devices. They're just responsible for all of the infrastructure. Developers working on energy devices, many of whom also got funding from the federal government, can bring them to the site, hook them up to the cables, and see how they work.